Hello everyone and welcome to our live coverage of the Saudi Pro League on Ma Well, Al Nasser's players will be feeling a lot happier with themselves after putting five past Al Fateh on the road in match week three after the stuttering start that left them without a single point from the opening couple of games. Well, qualification have been secured for the AFC Champions League as well, so it looks like they're starting to get into their stride. Yeah, been a really good couple of results. I think certainly starting to click in the final third. You would have Diallo could cause big problems for Al Nasser. Yeah, and uh, their goalkeeper, the career. It's going to be a tricky proposition for him up against a real quality front line. Well, Al Nasser hope the team they're building can herald an era of success as golden as the team shirts that they... For record signing, Ottavio from Porto and Imeric Laporte who's joined after a trophy-laden spell with Manchester City into the fervour and heat of a Riyadh night and a local rivalry almost 100 matches old against but unchanged. Cristiano Ronaldo scored a hat-trick in his last game. Sadio Mane scored twice. There's a home debut for the club's record signing, Portuguese international Otavio and the Spanish World Cup defender Aymeric Laporte, who joined last week from Manchester City. Al Shabab are still looking for their first win of the new season. They'll hope this local derby is where summer sight with Habib Diallo, who will get the match underway. By the way, the VAR Fawaz Al Sokur, collected by Brozovic. Little flick there by Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Arabia, fourth on the all time list. That's a lovely ball forward here. And potentially an early opportunity, and it's a clumsy challenge by Laporte. The, width, the flag has gone up on the near side. Bursting through Gustavo Cuellar into the penalty area. Brozovic collected by Sultan Al Ganam. Decent ball in. Doesn't quite fall Ronaldo's way beyond the far post. That's brilliant. Uh, beaten to it. Brozovic collects. Chance to shoot, which he takes. Beaten away by Kim. Oh, and a good save there from the keeper. Just got his hand up there as the shot came in. From Brozovic once again, really uh, active in the game so far. Otavio says there was a handball. The point which is being made quite forcibly. Um, didn't look as if it was far out from his body. Thank you. 1-0, never any doubt about it. Cristiano Ronaldo for Al Nasser. A hat-trick in the last game. And an early penalty gives Al Nasser the lead in their second home match of the season. In from Brozovic. Free header. Ronaldo at the double. Al Nasser threatening to run away with this fixture. By Ronaldo there, which may have forced a collision with his teammate. Well, it was a great header, but it will not stand. Yeah, well, it's soft, isn't it? The only real dynamism is coming from the two full-backs. Ronaldo makes the run into the box, but in goal for Al Nasser so far. Ten minutes to go to half-time. Over it comes, and from the early barrage, sent their way. Here comes Ronaldo into the box. Down he goes. Penalty kick, second one of the first half. Well, again, I think that's really clever play from Ronaldo. Garib, I think, with the reverse pass into him, and he knows his contact's going to come. And the keeper was nowhere near it. Take two. Same outcome, same place. Kim got closer this time, but not close enough. Well, he thought he'd scored his second goal of the match a little while ago. Now he most definitely has. Al Nasser to Al Zavic. Al Shabab backpedalling here as Ronaldo plays in Sadio Mane. It's three. The football's fast flowing. And the goals are coming. 
three in 40 minutes. All of a sudden, wide open spaces appearing. Transferred from left to right, Brozovic. Big trouble in this match. Remember, they haven't won yet this season. Two draws and a defeat from the opening three matches. Little bit of a flare up there. Sadio Mane involved in that. Tempers raised, referee's got some sorting out to do. Iago de Santos. And Sadio Mane going toe to toe there for a moment. Dos Santos isn't happy with that. They exchange a few words. Pace about the way they're playing. Mane's been left behind here. In towards the near post it goes. And it's raid down the left hand side. Possible suspicions of handball. Here they come again. And it's saved by Kim Sung Yu. There goes the half time whistle. Uh, 45 minutes to savour for the home crowd. Al Nasser leading by three goals to nil. Two penalties scored by Cristiano Ronaldo. The third goal. <laughs> Packed to the rafters. And the crowd loving what they've seen so far. Hey, but. They conceded three, having gone two up in the first half. No sign of that this time, but... Trying to pull the strings and set things up in towards Habib Diallo. And I think that's Sultan Anganam who's down on the edge of the penalty area. Yeah. Looks to be a difference maker as Gary bursts into the box. Anganam collects it. Well, an unorthodox looking save from King Sung Yu. Almost dive beyond it and that's a kind of pace now does he but he's still a really good player ever Banega a player of real quality Habib Diallo under pressure losing out Ottavio delightful flick Ronaldo I think the flag was up but it's been... still only half cleared pushed away the shot from Garib by Kim sung -Gyu. Cuellar, who goes diving in, doesn't get the ball. And it's played in! Oh, just wide from Ronaldo. Lovely build-up play, the quick pass in, flicked on by Ottavio. Ronaldo first time, whistling past the post. So nearly four. Yeah, they seem to be after Marnovic. Deciding to keep going here, Ottavio looking to place it, wants a handball, I think he's got it. Penalty. Third of the match. Just running. And Garib doesn't find the back of the net. He does later, but the whistle has already blown. Still going, Ronaldo. Mane in the middle. Dos Santos. And Mane hits the post now. Well, that was an extraordinary passage of play. But the flag finally does go up. 37, 38 degrees. Here's Otavio. Little touch. Ronaldo! No hat trick. It's the flag again. Yeah, Ronaldo's not sure whether it's the initial pass. It is, I think. Atan Babri sends it across. Diallo! Second attempt. Oh, and he still hasn't scored his first goal. Flag has gone up far side. Hit the post and cleared off the line, but doesn't look as though it would have kept for the first match time. Mane. Packed from behind. The referee will step in here. And it's all kicking off. Just a few yards in from the touchline. And the officials have some sorting out to do. Ever Banega and his teammates not happy, but that's a great one at all. Then look at... Oh, Banega there! Yeah, that's a red, isn't it? He'll be off for that. It's going to be a red card. There's no way Benega can stay on the field after a challenge like that. No, oh, you have a chance of getting away with it if you don't make the contact, but you can see clearly... The ball across, Garib has it. In it goes, Ronaldo! And they hit the post again, and now it is a fourth goal. 
and Sultan Alkanam, Alkanam who was at the end of the challenge from Eber Benega that led to the red card just a minute or two ago finds the back of the net 4-0 Al Nasser but I was certain that the Ronaldo header was going to nest <laughs> Hôm nay là chiều tối, đâm ra là rất là. Bây giờ đang là buổi chiều các bạn, buổi sáng thì mình rất là bận. Đây buổi chiều mình mới có thời gian để đi uh, đi cho các bạn xem xét khu vực tình hình xung quanh đây các bạn. Các bạn nhìn thấy ở đây rất nhiều cái ngôi nhà mà mình đang xây dựng ở đây. Ít nữa mình sẽ bán cho người.